major player in the industry is with us today in this room. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Let me tell you a little bit about the, the, the Bank of Chain and Jewelries. This one of the Asian major jewelry trading firms. And this year, we are focusing on the next generation of buyers, the young one, the genera generation Z and the millenniums. So the market is changing, the test is shifting. And I expect that in this trade fair, there are new ideas, new design, a new player is coming out of these trade fairs. Nevertheless, uh, I think most of us here has been to the trade fair, this trade fair before, so I think that you will see it by yourself. On behalf of the Thai people, I would like to say that I really appreciate your contribution throughout the years. And I really hope that this 67th edition of Bangkok Chain Jewelry Fair will have your support as always. This chain fair is your chance to reconnect it with your net, the jewelry network in Thailand to meeting the old customer, the old partner, and to see the new ideas. And for those, for those of you who are already registered to the trade fairs, either for, as an exhibitor or as a visitor, I really hope that you will enjoy the trade fair as we are. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for those hard. His Excellency, Mr. I don't know if who is the what, Consul General or your Thai Consulate General Mumbai, distinguished guests, member of the press, good evening, Namaskar. On behalf of the Department of International Trade Promotion, or the ITP, I would like to welcome you to Thailand Gems and Jewelry Destinations, a roadshow event of the 67 Bangkok Gems and Jewelry Fair, co-organized by the ITP and the Gems and Jewelry Institute of Thailand, or GIT. Initiated by the ITP Bangkok Gems and Jewelry Fair or BGJF is one of, of the largest gem and jewelry trade fair in Asia. The fair presents a spectacular showcase of gems and jewelry companies in Thailand and from across the world. Featuring the complete range of gem and jewelry products from gemstone, gold and silver jewelry, costume jewelry, packaging to equipment and tools. This prestigious event was held for uh, 66 editions and the 67 edition which will really take place between 7 to 11 September this year will be more special than ever. <coughs> As is it the first full-scale physical event after a long pause of uh, from almost two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It will be attended by more than 800 exhibitors and include over 1,800 booths, at least 10,000 uh, visitors and at least 1 million, 1,200 million baht of revenue are expected. Apart from the showcase, the fair will feature several highlight exhibitions, including the Jewel Wonders exhibition that presents that uh, Thai craftsmanship and, and trending jewelry creations. The Jewel Showcase with highlights the work of Thai creative designers. The new face showcase that introduced the jewelry works 
from reading SME from all over Thailand, along with seminar, workshops, and demonstration that visitors can join throughout the event. Finally, we hope that the 67th Bangkok Gem and Jewelry Show will help Indian gem and jewelry professional expand business opportunities. For members of the press, please help spread the words and thank you in that one for your support as always. Thank you very much. Good evening all. His Excellency Mr. Dhanavid Ulsawa, Council General Loyal, Thai Council General, Mumbai. Ms. Supatraji from uh, the Department of Trade. Uh, my distinguished friends uh, on the dais. Uh, and my friends from the industry and uh, uh, from the press. Good evening. Uh, I'm really honored to be here uh, for this event here for the uh, 67th Bangkok show. Uh, we ourselves, I would like to tell you that we have embarked on a uh, you know, exhibition uh, journey and we are going to have our second show soon. So 67th show is, is remarkable and it, uh, it talks about, uh, it talks about the, uh, thinking from your team which was ahead of time. And Lord, we have just started, you have conquered for 67 times. Congratulations to you and uh, your teams also. Uh, I think uh, gems and jewelry has been on the forefront of uh, economic prosperity for both the countries. Uh, in India, it contributes almost 7% of the GDP. So it's an important part uh, in terms of even uh, creating uh, jobs for the industry. So I think uh, we can have a very uh, good association and we always have as an uh, Indian German jewelry industry uh, with the Thai uh, German jewelry industry. However, in the last two years, all of us have gone through a uh, lot of ups and downs in COVID. But as you said rightly that this is the first large uh, physical event after uh, uh, the COVID pandemic. I am sure it is going to be a super success. And uh, I'm sure there'll be not 10,000, but 15, 20,000 people uh, visiting the show. Uh, I think, and uh, many a times, German jewelry sector has been, you know, under penetrated or under promoted across the borders. Uh, our jeweler friends or manufacturers don't really venture out and go across the borders and try and uh, improve the uh, businesses. But I think events like uh, uh, the Bangkok show uh, are the ideal vehicle where both the countries and businessmen from both the sides can actually venture out and uh, uh, you know for uh, uh, jewelers or manufacturers from India, uh, the uh, Bangkok show can be a gateway to the rest of uh, Southeast Asia and for people from uh, uh, Bangkok and Southeast Asia. Uh, Indian traders can be a gateway to Middle East. I think it can be a good marriage uh, between India and Thailand that both the, uh, the parties uh, can work. I think DIPP has already initiated a global campaign uh, entitled as you know, Thailand's Magic Hands, the Spirit of Jewelry Making. And the campaign is aiming for international recognition of uh, Thailand's gem and jewelry industry. I think uh, India we share a common heritage and uh, so we are with you uh, in promoting uh, trade between uh, both the nations and uh, I can guarantee you from All India German Union Domestic Council that we will definitely try and send a strong delegation uh, for your uh, 67th edition of the show and we will be there with you till the 100 for sure and uh, I would like to uh, also welcome your team uh, for our German Jewelry Show, India German Jewelry Show, which is happening end of September. We will extend uh, welcome to both of you, as well as to your uh, representation. So I thank once again Mr. Bajaj for having me here and uh, giving you all for giving me time 
in this. Thank you so much, Jai Jai Mahalakshmi. His Excellency, Mr. Donavi, Ms. Supatra Swangasri, my friend and the regional chairman, G.J. E.P.C. Sri Ashok Kajara, Ashish Bhai Bhatte from G.J.C., Surendra Bhai Mehta, Rajesh Bajaj from Hira Javera. Firstly, I thank you very much for being uh, called for today's evening. Always when it is silent, it is my pleasure to be in any party, whether this side or that side of the stage. Thank you very much. India and Thailand has the oldest historical relations. I don't know how many years, nobody can predict, but it is hundreds of years back, India and Thailand has been working together. We have a similar culture. It looks like a similar places, beliefs are the same. And of course for India, Thailand is the most preferred destination, whether it is for vacation or for business. When it comes to gems and jewelry, I congratulate BITP and GIT for completing the 67th years and it looks always young and miles to go and India or Indian gems and jewelry business is always privileged to work with Thailand. When we speak of our kind of business, it is almost similar. We are value addition countries. We don't produce anything. We buy gold, we buy gemstones, we buy diamonds. India, of course, polishes also and makes the fine jewellery. Thailand, I can say, is the biggest address of jewellery in the world. Whenever you see the Thai make jewellery, you will see unmatchable. And uh, congratulate Thailand and the people of Thailand for bringing such a nice artwork to the world. And yes, as a India, we need to learn from it and we have to follow the footsteps of Thailand and we need to achieve it. Thailand, I was just reading the report. Thailand is growing in gems and jewelry at the fastest speed. And uh, people in the world looks forward to be whether it is exhibition or the supply from Thailand. I wish you all the best and good luck and thanks again for today's evening. Thank you so much, sir. We were really elated to hear your words on this occasion. And now, may I please invite our special guest of honor, Mr. Surendra Ji Mehta, National Secretary, Ipja, to say a few words on this dazzling evening. Dignitaries of the dais, my friends from the industry, media. I was looking at the video being played uh, before we uh, were sitting on the dais. And I was amazed to see the size of the exhibition. I am being told that you have 1800 stalls and you have nearly 10 plus 10,000 visitors. Uh, for a, and I think as an Indian, we need to learn a lot of things from Thailand. And this is the 67th edition. It's uh, amazing to see and uh, exhibitions being carried out for continuously for 67 years. Let me tell you ma'am that we are a 103 year old organization and I think uh, uh, we need to collaborate, we need to think in terms of how best we can reach out to the world either through the Thailand route or your uh, country through the Indian route to the rest of the world. 
Bangkok as such has a very special place in everybody's heart, especially Indians. And uh, not only because of tourism, but uh, I I'm sure this, this kind of exhibitions, this kind of uh, hospitality uh, will, will encourage uh, dwellers to, to be there, to be part of these exhibitions. And uh, I wish uh, uh, Bangkok Gem and Jewelry all the best and congratulate them once again for such a wonderful journey of 67 years. Thank you so much.
trade fair, the Bank of Chen Jewelries. It is the 67th time already that we are organizing. Uh, for the past two years, we have no physical. But uh, this year, everything is back to normal. That's why we have uh, decided to organize it as a physical. Actually, it's not, not only the trade fair. We, we also have a seminar, we have a training. All kind of activities that involve in the gym and jewelry seminar, we are both in our academics, testing, that's the kind of thing that we are doing. For so many times in the past, India is the one of the biggest country that is visiting us and also has a, a lot of trade together, we have cooperation together. Uh, and this year, we also expected Indians to be the largest contingents to participate in this trade fair. Our, our trade in this gym and jewelry is growing up every year and I still feel that we still have a lot of more to grow in terms of corporations. There we have, uh, has a supply chain, you know, India is very famous for the diamonds, but Thailand we are also quite uh, renowned for the jewelry, which is stone, color stone. Together we can cooperate, I saw that we can cooperate and we can go into the world market together as a partner. Oh, okay, sir. India is one of the yeah, sir. India is one of the uh, biggest importer, right? Uh, so for the jewelry from uh, Thailand. So what do you, how you take it? Because someone also said that there is a robust growth in the industry, and people are, uh, I mean, importing diamond from from India. I mean, from Thailand to India. What do you, what do you have to say about that? Uh, as I say, it's uh, it's a cooperation we are doing together. I want this beautiful and also if we have uh, some uh, the uh, richest store to go together, you know, it's a corporation that I see quite uh, a lot of potential and a lot of future in together. So we should doing together and also in this uh, Bangkok gym and jewelry, as I said, it's not only a trade fair. It's a lot of activities that involve, and you see the good chance that both players in both countries can meet face to face and to talk together and to explore how we can do things together. That's what I, 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 I can see for this uh, trade fair. What do you say, ma'am? Yes, um, I would like to invite all the Indian businessmen and Indian importers to visit. Seven Bangkok Tip and Jewelry Show in Bangkok. So I believe that um, the Indian businessmen will get the benefit from this show and they can use this show to be a platform to meet, uh, meet up with all their partner and also new customers. So ma'am, today, today, was, today was fashion show also. So how have you enjoyed and how was the day today? I mean, evening. I think it's very impressive to me. This is something that uh, that we, we, we never done before. So I think uh, that is, uh, I think all the, all the, our Indian friends today also enjoy with this. Uh, may, may I add that, as I, as I said, for the past two years, we don't have any physical, right? And the virtual meeting or something like that is maybe some kind of has to be the trend, the new trend. So to have a physical trade fair meeting, something like this, is a very good chance that we can see, we can feel the market, we can feel the trend, what is the future, especially for the younger generation that have, a, how to say, a different, different taste, different preference. 
it is uh, to have a physical paper is uh, a very good chance that we can feel that and I expect that every participant visitors can feel that themselves better than online you know so it's uh, very excited and, and I have quite a high expectation from, from this great home that we confidence that it's going to benefit both of us, both uh, uh, Thailand and India in this, in this jewelry uh, industry. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, sir. Then, Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. इंडिया और थाईलैंड एक बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट ट्रेड पार्टनर इतने सालों से रहे हैं हमारा एक कॉमन कल्चर है दोनों का तो ये कल्चर कॉमन होने से बिजनेस में भी हमें सहूलियत होती है और डायमंड ज्वेलरी कलर स्टोन ज्वेलरी के लिए डायमंड सबसे बड़ा मार्केट है और ये जो जीवन ज्वेलरी का उनका शो हो रहा है वो पूरे वर्ल्ड में जो जीवन ज्वेलरी का शो होता है उसमें से वो कैलेंडर में वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट शो इज़ बैंकॉक शो तो उसके लिए वो आए उसके लिए धन्यवाद करता हूँ और मैं एज ए चेयरमैन ऑफ ऑल इंडिया जीवन ज्वेलरी डोमेस्टिक काउंसिल मैं उनको सपोर्ट भी देता हूँ क्योंकि डोमेस्टिक मार्केट को अगर इम्प्रूव होना है तो उसको थोड़ा इंटरनेशनल एक्सपोजर बाहर क्या होता है वहाँ से क्या नई चीज़ आ सकते हैं उसके लिए परफेक्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी हमारे डोमेस्टिक ट्रेडर्स को भी कि वहाँ पे जाके नया क्या बन रहा है वो देख के आए और uh, मैं उनको अश्योर भी किया हूँ कि हमारा एक डेलीगेशन उनके शो में जाएगा एंड वी विल इन्वाइट द डेलीगेशन ऑल्सो कि वो भी हमारे शो में सर आपने ये भी कहा जी में भी काफ़ी बड़ा योगदान देती है ये ज्वेलरी इंडस्ट्री तो उसको लेकर किस तरह से आगे आप सोच रहे हो बढ़ाना या टाइप करके थैलेंट भारत में लगभग सात परसेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है जेवन जी इंडस्ट्री और सिर्फ ये नहीं एक्सपोर्ट में भी लगभग ट्वेल्व टू थर्टीन परसेंट फिफ्टीन परसेंट ज़्यादा सही कह पाएंगे लेकिन सिर्फ ये कंट्रीब्यूशन इसमें नहीं है हमारा जीवन जो इंडस्ट्री है उसमें रोज़गार सबसे ज़्यादा देता है लगभग एक करोड़ लोगों को रोज़गार हमारी इंडस्ट्री देती है और ये डायरेक्ट रोज़गार की बात करो इसमें अलाइड जो बिजनेस है उसमें और ज़्यादा रोज़गार काम होता है जो हमारा स्किल्ड लेबर है वो इंडिया में सबसे ज़्यादा जेवन जीवन में एम्प्लॉय होता है तो ये महत्व है हमारी इंडस्ट्री का और सरकार भी हमें सपोर्ट करिए हम भी आगे बढ़ेंगे और बाहर जाके क्या नए ट्रेंड्स हैं वो देख के आएंगे और हमारा बिजनेस ओके सर ओके थैंक सर